Timwali mwandu galu galu Mukama na sumuru la Mwali mwelo zalu zalu Katonda ya wade mwene nsonga Zai wusha nubugembe kufa kuwash paus Inasa na Wale nyo kuwela kunanga wa productions Pade D, Julie Ya liku kamera You can subscribe and you can follow And get good messages God bless you Amen Hello beautiful people, it is yet another weekend and welcome to yet another episode of the Celebrity Diary. My name is Deborah Elizabeth Okuchu and I am here to spice up your weekend in case you are feeling bored. The Celebrity Diary is brought to you by Nangabo Productions, a production company that deals with filming, videography. We also offer you a chance to hire photography equipment from us, quality photography equipment at an affordable rate. We also have an opportunity for you to advertise your business, to advertise advertise your event, yourself, whatsoever you'd like to, to advertise on our different social media platforms. That is YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and whatsoever you'd want to use to reach out to people. Now, do not forget to subscribe to Nangabo Productions on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, and even on TikTok because we are here to entertain you at a full package. The Celebrity Diary is proudly sponsored by Glasgow african online radio an application you can get on your google play store app it doesn't cost a lot of data but it offers you a lot of good entertainment so go ahead and download glasgow african online radio at an affordable megabyte rate on your google play store app do not forget to come here to georgia hotel where i am already for the weekend for the wheelbarrow night by the way you can also come to georgia hotel every tuesday for a quiz night every thursday for a live ban and also on any other day to get a massage to get sauna you know steam bath and all those things that will make you feel amazing without wasting time i would like to take you through the celebrity gossip in headlines Pia Pound successfully undergoes a dental surgery. Selena Gomez and Rema's Calm Down remix video finally out. This must be interesting. Bad Black urges Border Borders to be hygienic. And finally, Baby Cool releases the Nyege Nyege anthem. I cannot seriously wait to get to the celebrity gossip in details, but before I do that, Let's go to the celebrity of the week. Now making it to the celebrity diary as the celebrity of this week's episode of the celebrity diary as celebrity of the week is none other than Bobby Wine. Who is Bobby Wine? It's like the whole world already knows Bobby Wine, but as I always say, I am here to let you know what you don't know or what you might have forgotten. Now Bobby Wine is locally and uh, originally known as Rog Robert Chagulani Sentami. Sentamu. His stage name is Bobby Wine. He's a Ugandan, a politician, a singer, and an actor. He's a former member of Parliament of Chadondo East, and he also leads the National Unity Platform Political Party. Aside the political background of Bobby Wine that came about five years ago in his life, not five, about seven years ago in his life, let's talk about his music career. You know those days when music was was starting up in Uganda. We had a little bit of a few stars that is like Chameleon, Bebe Cool, Bobby Wine. Actually, those are the only three I remember in all, those old days of ours when Bobby Wine used to sing Bada. Oh, 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 yes. Then we had Baby Cool and Chameleon. Yeah, giving us a lot of entertainment. Now, Bobby Wine had his own type of music that he termed as entertainment. His kind of edutainment, pardon me, edutainment. His kind of music was to teach, besides to entertain. So he was talking about education, he was talking about drugs, he was talking about hustle and ghetto life and all those things, yes. And uh, Bobby Wine is known as the ghetto president because he is a risen star from a very serious ghetto. More about the life of Bobby Wine, he is married to Barbara Chagulani, commonly known as Bobby Chagulani. He is a born of February 1982 on the 12th. His children are Shadrach Shiling Mbogo Chagulani, Shalom Namagembe Chagulani, Kampala Solomon, 
and uh, a, a lot more of them uh, is also hosting a lot of you know adopted children and yes he has a lot of kids but originally he does have four kids the first is Solomon Kampalas Chagulani and the last is Subi Namagembe Chagulani. His siblings are Eddie Yawe and Mickey Wine and also Chairman Nyanzi. We know Chairman Nyanzi, the, the contestant for Kampala Central, member of parliament who was second in place and did not go to parliament. His national party is National Unity platform and he has sung a lot of songs that I'm not going to mention because the whole world knows the songs that have been sung by Bobby Wine. Now Bobby Wine has a, a little bit drawn off his music career and focused on pol politics and uh, I don't think he'll come to rest until he at least gets positioned as president of Uganda. Yeah that is Bobby Wine for us now and he made it to the celebrity diary as the celebrity of the week. Now before going to the celebrity gossip in details, I would like to remind you that Nangabo Productions is offering you a chance to advertise your business, your event, and whatsoever you want to advertise at an affordable, at an affordable rate. Forget the affordable rate. Now we have discounted rates, so feel free to contact us and see how we can help you advertise your business and event on our different social media platforms. To the celebrity gossip in details, Pia Pound successfully undergoes a dental surgery. Now, Pia Pound uh, is, a, is, a, is a star that, that rose during the lockdown after, you know, uh, what is his name, MC Africa vibe to her song that is Twende to Party. That song really made her famous and now I guess we all know who Pia Pounds is. Well, about Pia Pounds, after several months with dental issues, she finally can be smiling again after undergoing a final dental surgery yesterday morning. That is on Friday morning, yes. So Pia Pounds is now okay. Her, her dentals have been fixed. She feels good about it. She posted it on her, on her social media platforms. And yeah, it looks good on her, it really looks good on her, just like Azawi did. About a few years ago, people were laughing about Azawi's dental formula and stuff like that. And she worked on it, but I don't know what Ugandans want, because after Azawi working on her dentals, some people still say they are used to the old Azawi and she looked better that way. And you know, Ugandans are just there to look for trouble about you. City socialite, but black urges border border riders to be hygienic. Interesting. I could not wait to re reach this segment of the news. Now, previously, the border border association had a meeting, and among the attendants of that meeting was Bad Black, Uganda's popular socialite. Now, Bad Black comes out to say, from today onwards, okay, from then onwards, she has become an advocate, and uh, you know is an advocate and a defender of the border border riders when they are arrested she's going to speak for them when something is an issue for them with the government they want to chase them away from the streets and stuff like that she is going to be there for that for them but that is on condition that they wake up every morning shower wash their clothes look good and look representable by a beautiful socialite like her so yes that is it but Bad Black has uh, volunteered to be a representative of the Border Border Association, defending them when they have issues and helping them out because she claims there is transport when there is a lot of traffic. But on condition that they shower and look good. According to me, that is really good, yes, because man out there, we need Border Borders to dress well. Some of them look good. You know, some of these Border Borders are even educated, but some of them are really disappointing. You get on a border border and you cannot wait to jump off. And that is the situation that Bad Black wants to fight by advocating for the border borders. Now, the official video for Calm Down, a recently made remix between Selena Gomez and Rema, is now out. We had a lot to say about this remix. Other people said Selena Gomez only came out to spoil the song. People said she didn't spice up the song. Well, 
Meanwhile, other people liked it. I'm sure Rema himself liked it because you first reveal someone's part of the remix before you allow them to do it with you. Also, besides that, I feel like when a popular celebrity get hopes onto your song, even if they have just spoiled it, it, it gives it a lot of exposure. Because now the followers of Selena Gomez are after the song, the followers of Rema are after the song. So I think the only point of the collaboration is to widen attention towards that particular song. And yes, the video is out, it is interesting, so you can go stream it on any music platform that you have on your phone. But before you do, before you do that, do not forget to download Glasgow African Online Radio. And also go check out the song Rema, Calm Down by Rema and Selena Gomez on your different music apps. Uh, Bebe Cool releases the Njege Njege Anthem, which is an event ahead. We should not say ahead. He released it before this weekend, which people have already gone for the Njege Njege festival. Now the Nyege Nyege festival after the government first cancelled it got a lot of attention. I don't know if that was a strategy you know Uganda is full of strategies and ways they use strange ways they use to get attention of different things. You know someone will say um, my husband is beating me because his husband is a celebrity and is about to release a song so that now when the song is released all attention is on them. I don't know if this was a strategy that was that, that the government was part of or something but the Nyege Nyege festival is a blast Ugandans are already there I'm telling you Ugandans are happy people they are happy people they are having fun partying day and night can you imagine music from morning to sunset then sunset to morning then morning to sunset in a number and number of several days and what is interesting about this is that there are so many tourists that are attending the Njege Njege festival that is a lot of income for Uganda I feel like Njege Njege festival should be an annual thing and the government should not play with the Njege Njege festival well as I always say all good things come to an end thank you for tuning in to Nangabo Productions on the Celebrity Diary every weekend do not forget to come to Georgia Hotel for your refreshment and do not forget to download Glasgow African online radio and get entertained at a very cheap cost that is a, a few a few a few tons of data and also do not forget to come to Georgia hotel for massage for whatsoever you need to have refreshment on uh, all good things come to an end see you on next week's episode of the midweek chat I love you all bye bye <music> Imagine the words of Dr. Dr. Joseph Kamini Natakoga Tageja made in Uganda superstar Africa worldwide. Uh huh. To the Nangabo production. Liking, following, subscribe. Watch it to Soka Nujunda Bakonga to Nabuaka. Boom! Nangabo Productions. Never Kubu, Nirava Nanini. Mukwati Mifanani. Emily Kumutino. Mu Uganda. Bakwata Vidoza Nimba. Nemikolo. Kubeye Nunji. Jukino Mukota Kuti Mwamu. Bakwara Infects Planingi. Digital Marketing. Bakwara Kura Fixi. Owa video. Ne still video editing. Bayana ne studio. He recording audio. Papa Xani Kamina Squata Filimu. Videos and Nimba. Ne commercial videos. Ante Baba Kafuru. Mukut designing our besides. Bakwara Dutch Meta Rizi. Ne movie direction. We want just to call live streaming. Platforms is Uganda,